Welcome to e know -how. In this video, uh, we will look at uh, an RC circuit that is uh, during charging and discharging and we will solve the differential equation for the RC circuit and also get the transient response of the RC circuit. So now let's take in R and C in series. So this is C, this is R and let's have two switches. One switch to connect the RC circuit to a DC voltage source V and then let's have another switch that would short the RC circuit to ground. So this is switch 1 and switch 2. Now in the first scenario where you want to charge the capacitor we would like to uh, close switch S1. Close the switch S1 here and then let's write the equation. Then what happens is there is a current that starts flowing into the RC circuit which we can write it as I of T which is because it's a transient current it changes with time so that is I of T so now if you look at the equation during charging so the total voltage V would be the voltage dropped across the resistor so the voltage dropped across the resistor is I of T multiplied by R that is the voltage dropped across the resistor VR and the voltage across the capacitor. So the voltage across the capacitor is let's write it as VC of T. Now we know that I of T, I of T is the same current that flows in the capacitor as well as the resistor. So I of T is C D VC of T over DT. So now let's substitute uh, this into here. So what we see is V will be equal to R C D V C of T over D T plus V C of T. Now let's write this as divide the whole thing by RC on both sides. So V over RC would be equal to D VC of T over DT plus 1 over RC VC of T. So to solve this kind of differential equation where you have a derivative here term and the actual term so the voltage across the capacitor you have the dvc D of t over dt and then the vc of t. So what we do is we take something called an integrating factor. So an integrating factor, we have to look at mathematics textbooks for this. The integrating factor for this would be here, whatever is got here, e power t over rc. That is the integrating factor. So now you multiply both the sides with the integrating factor. So we get V over RC EOE to the power of T over RC will be equal to E to the power T over RC D VC of T over DT plus 1 over RC E, e to the power T over RC then Vc of t. So now this one if you look at this side of the equation what it really looks like is um, see this 1 over rc e power t over rc is nothing but d, d of d, d, d over dt e power t over rc. Now if you see this if you differentiate this you would get 1 over RC e power t, t over RC. So this is a differential of one equation e power t over this is d v c of t over dt multiplied by e power t over RC. Here it is d e power t over RC of dt multiplied by 
uh, VC of t. So which can be simplified to this side would be d over dt, the product of e power t over rc and vc of t. So that again from mathematics. So v over rc, e power t over rc. Now what we do is we integrate both the sides from 0 to t with respect to dt. Now this would be, in this side would be v over rc. You integrate, integrate e power t over rc, it would be e power t over rc and then you would have to divide this by 1 over rc. That would be, this would turn out to be exactly what is inside here e power t over rc vc of t plus a constant k. So that is the integrating constant. Now this can be further simplified as v e power t over rc would be equal to vc of t e power t over rc plus k. Now what we do is we multiply both the sides with e power minus t over rc. So that would be, v will be vc of t plus k e power minus t over rc. Or we could write this as uh, vc of t that's what we are trying to solve, would be equal to v minus k e power minus t over rc. So now what we have to do is, now let me write this back again somewhere here. So what we got here is vc of t is v minus k and then you got e power minus t over rc. So e power minus t over rc. Now let's look at the initial condition for the uh, voltage across the capacitor. At t equal to 0, we have no voltage across the capacitor. Vc of 0 is 0. So now let's use that here. So Vc of t, let's put t equal to 0 here. So 0 is equal to V minus k and e power 0 is 1. So what it means is k is nothing but V. So now let's put that in the equation. So we will see Vc of t will be equal to V v minus v e power minus t over rc which is nothing but v to 1 minus e power minus t over rc. So this is the voltage across the capacitor where you are charging through an rc circuit. In an rc circuit if the this is the voltage that is building up across the capacitor with respect to time. So now if you actually really plot it with respect to time, you would see this is RC is the time constant. We will look at that in a separate video, but here it's more a mathematical presentation. So at t equal to 0, you start charging. So the voltage across the capacitor would actually build up like this and then after five time constants it would become v. It would go up to v. So if you see at, at t equal to 0, vc of t is 0. But at t equal to say 5 rc or something, that this, this term will go towards 0 and then it will, the voltage would charge up to the complete voltage v. So that is the, that is the charging the voltage. Now let's look at the current here. Let's look at the current I of t. 
how it varies. So we know that i of t, i of t is nothing but c d v c of t over d t. So now if you look at this, we put c. You know v c of t is d over d t. We know what v c of t is. Is v times 1 minus e power minus t over rc. So we differentiate this one, it would be c and there would be a minus term and v e power minus t over rc and multiplied by 1 over rc. So which would be nothing but, oh there is a minus, one more minus comes from here. So this would be v over r, v over r e power minus t over rc. So this is i of t. i of t looks like this. So what it means is initially at the beginning of time when there is no voltage across the capacitor, all the voltage is dropped across the resistor and the current flowing would be V over R and it will, once the capacitor is charged all the way to voltage V, there will not be any current because the, the voltage across the resistor would become zero. So if you plot, this is where you plotted the voltage here, if you plot the current, it would start at V over R and exponentially decrease. So at this point it's V over R and then after five time constants it will become zero. So this is the voltage. So let me put a different color. So this is the voltage going up and this is the current coming down. So maybe we will look at the discharging of this circuit and actually in the next video.